Role playing and escape into fantasy have always been an important part of childhood. Pretending engages creative thinking and helps children to manage the realities of their lives. This project helps us express our wild sides, similar to the way Max did in Morris Sendak's beloved book, Where the Wild Things Are. Using a recycled wool sweater, shrink film, and adornments such as buttons, felt, and wool, we'll create a monster mitten that will function to keep us warm and will also help to act out emotions of anger or frustration in an appropriate way by role playing. First, find an outgrown or discarded sweater. Wool sweaters are preferable because they can be felted simply by washing and drying them. Felting simply means that the barbed wool fibers have matted and shrunk together from the heat and agitation of the dryer. Thrift stores often have wool sweaters for sale very cheaply that were mistakenly put in the wash. To make the mittens, we'll simply cut the sleeves off of the sweater. The body of the sweater can be saved to make a hat. We'll place one arm on top of the sleeve so that the wrist is at the cuff end. If you want a longer mitten, simply move your hand further down from the cuff. Holding the fingers together, but moving the thumb apart, simply trace around the hand, giving yourself about an inch for sewing. Leave as much of the side of the, of the sleeve intact as you can to minimize the amount of sewing you'll need to do later. Cut the mitten out through both layers, making sure to cut just inside the marker line so it won't show on the final mitten. Repeat for the other hand and then start embellishing. You can use either stitching or glue to add buttons, yarn stripes, or leopard spots cut out of acrylic felt. For something different, add raw wool with a felting needle. Finally, we'll sew around the cut edges of the mittens on the right side. Bendable plastic needles work well for young students and can handle the thickness of most sweaters. Blunt tapestry needles, like this one, work better on thicker material or for older students. Embroidery floss, yarn, or thick thread can be used for the sewing. I like to use a contrasting color so the stitching becomes part of the design. Finally, we'll make the monster claws. On a piece of shrink film, using permanent marker, draw claws and color them in. Metallic markers really make the claws pop. Adding polka dots, leopard striping, or faux fur designs. Be sure to make the claws about half the length of the sheet of shrink film because they shrink. These have already been baked. See how much smaller they are than when they when they were originally drawn. Before baking, you'll cut them out and make sure to punch at least three holes at the base of the claw for sewing it to the mitten. Place on a medium weight piece of cardboard and bake them as directed on the package. Sew the claws onto the mittens and explore the wild side. The shrink film, wool, tools, and embellishments are available at dickblick.com, where you will also find national standards for visual arts education and a PDF of this lesson plan.